Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen. Did your truck not start today? Did you realize that your high pressure oil pump reserve tank was empty? Stick around. I'll show you why. Thanks for sticking around through that. Anyways, this is an easy one and a fast one. Uh, let me just throw out there that if you've been out through the sea of YouTube videos, we don't shoot videos with our telephones here in our driveway. You've come to the right place. Go ahead, uh, check out our video selection, our ever building video selection of 7.3 to the fact correct information. So anyways, your problem if you're losing oil, uh, highest probability here, there's always other variations, so relax. But the highest probability of why your reservoir for your high pressure oil pump reserve is going empty is because of this little guy right here. And we will give you close ups in this video, so just relax. Anyways, on the top of the block of the 7.3, if you look down behind the timing cover, on the driver's side, on the bottom of the block, closest to the edge of the block where the uh, IPR is and uh, the ICP, you're going to see this in the block. And that unscrews, which is going to give you a spring and a pressure ball. Now either this pressure ball has got some goo on it or the spring has failed either which way it is letting oil pass that and will empty out your high pressure oil reserve tank as quick as a bunny <laughs> but anyways as you'll see over here we'll have some diagrams and I'm also going to have diagrams that you can pause the video and look at and then I'm gonna take you out actually to the block and show you where this is and how to remove it so stick around for that and if you want correct 7.3 power stroke information maybe sometimes with a verbal blub happens stick around subscribe like give a guy a thumbs up well, here we are out in the wild, and if you are new to the 7.3s, there is a timing cover that sits on the front here, an aluminum timing cover. What you're looking for is right here. You're going to need a wobbly because you're going to need to come in on an angle in order to get this out of here with the timing cover on. So what we're going to do is unscrew this. If your timing cover is in the way, you're going to have to kind of come out on a bit of an angle like this. So we have the plug, you have the o-ring, you have the spring, we have the check ball, anti-siphon ball, and then also inside of here is a crown. Don't forget about the crown. That crown could be worn out. So if your reserve tank is going dry, there are some possible other reasons, but very rare, 
But this one right here is going to be the highest reason of why your reserve tank is going dry.